Yeah, that would work. Like another another phrase like that. The way you say goodbye to me is a don't forget me when you're down. Do you want to go back to the top? Yeah. This is the top of the verse. Oh yeah, I'm I'm just paused it now. Well, the first one is called I Can, and uh, it's an orchestra hip hop mix type of thing. It features Ian Legalbo, uh, a lyricist from Buffalo. He's uh, in a hip hop band, Natural Ingredients. Um, and with the song, uh, we kind of wanted to try and do um, like a inspirational type of, uh, you know, you could do whatever you want as long as you put your mind to it and work hard type of thing. Um, and then the second piece, Well I Know, is a big band mixed with a, a rhythm section, which is my band, Soul Underground. Uh, we're kind of like a funk soul group, so it has a fusion type of feel with uh, some classic big band style voicings for um, you know trombones, trumpets, saxes, and stuff, um, with some interplay with the horns and the vocalists as well. So. Much more than I figured. Uh, I, I actually would love to have more people, but yeah, the the, the size and scope of the project um, is something that I kind of wanted to try. It's the first time for me uh, writing for these these types of ensembles, so I wanted to try something new and um, kind of you know go out with a bang, I guess, and show show you know this community that. There's so much to all these different genres of music that, you know, around in Oswego we don't get exposed to so much and, um, you know, there's so much you could do with it. Well, the, the size of the music department is relatively small compared to other schools and Oswego isn't exactly known for its music department, so when you come here, it's, um, all the professors want to get to know you, um, especially on a first name basis. They want to talk to you, um, especially if you're committed, if you show the drive. And these professors, they know their stuff so well, and they've been doing it for so long. It's, it's, it makes it easy to um, soak in the information, I guess. When I was younger, uh, my brother let me experiment a little bit on his laptop with uh, GarageBand and those types of things. So I got pretty involved with recording at an early age before I started playing bass. I was very fortunate in that technology is such a integral part of learning this craft that you know I had someone like my brother to um, kind of foster that. And The Kickstarter was uh, kind of like an afterthought, to be honest with you. Um, the thousand dollar SCAT grant was really um, what motivated me a lot to do um, to do a lot of the fundraising things that I did. So once I got the SCAT grant, it was kind of like, well, at this point, um, you know, I go big or go home, I guess. And if I have, if I can raise a thousand dollars, I'm sure I can, you know raise 2500 for my friends and family. So um, I think receiving the SCAT grant provided me with like a legitimacy, I guess, you know, to, to people who, who aren't familiar with what I do here or what anyone does in the studio for that matter because, you know, I, I'll go, I'll talk to my family. They really don't know what I do. Um, audio is kind of like that magic that happens before um, you hear a song on the radio. So um, it was cool that the school was able to help me out to show that, you know, this is a legitimate cause and this is a legitimate project. So I think that helped me a lot in that, in that respect. Um, well, it should be a great show. Um, I've got the whole orchestra who is on the recording coming in to perform with Ian. He's going to come up from Buffalo 
and he's bringing along some friends to help him out and uh, Manny and Matt and the rest of the guys will be helping out. Um, we've got the big band to play and we'll be talking about the process of the recording and how songwriting happens, you know, everything from inspiration to mastering. So um, it should be very informational and uh, entertaining.